How's it going guys? It's your old pal Baba Ganoush here again. So recently REI came out with a brand new line of sleeping bags. Sleeping bags that I am thoroughly, thoroughly impressed with. It's very clear they spent a lot of time researching and engineering those brand new sleeping bags to not only find a great balance between warmth and also weight, but also find a very nice competitive price that often beats out its competitors. So Lo and behold, I couldn't help myself. I had to get one of those brand new sleeping bags. So, here's my official review on the brand new 2017 REI Magma 10 degree sleeping bag. Let's go ahead and get into it. So, all right guys. So, this is the brand new REI Magma 10 degree sleeping bag. When I first saw this thing, I was so excited. I was giddy like a little schoolgirl. Um, but the thing I was really excited about was the quality of the product and the quality of the engineering that they put into the sleeping bag itself. So at 10 degrees, this is a spectacular, spectacular uh, temperature rating. However, the weight uh, and also the features that go with it really give it, really give it its bang for its buck. So this is a 850 fill goose down, the first ever 850 fill goose down sleeping bag that REI has ever done. So the loft that you have in this thing is absolutely phenomenal. This comes with a downproof Pertex shield, uh, which gives it the down and also the nylon itself, the water repellency to be more resistant and get against condensation and moisture. The nylon that they use for the, the shell material is a 15 denier ripstop nylon. So something that's very nice and thin, very nice and lightweight. What's fantastic about this, being an 850 fill goose down, 10 degree temperature rating, the regular version right here comes in at only a pound and 14 ounces. The large version, obviously will bump it up in size a little bit, that comes in at only two pounds even. So for the market, this is one of the best warmth to weight, warmth to weight ratio sleeping bags in the entire industry, which is absolutely amazing. REI is really stepping up their game in regards to the products that they're releasing, and it certainly shows to where we're competing against some of the top name brands that have owned the market for quite some time now. Price-wise, for the regular, this comes in at $349, and for the large, it comes in at $369. So again, with that warmth to weight and also the price point in there as well, it is a fantastic, fantastic product. I've been thoroughly impressed with it, just, just having it here at home and things so far. Um, and, you know, I, I, of course, as soon as I saw it, I fell in love with it and I had to scoop it up. I know it's, it's, it's terrible, but I had to do it. So let me go ahead, open this up for you so you can take a look how it looks as well as some of the design features that they put into it to give, or give you a better idea of how it might work well for you. So, okay guys, I got it all opened up and set up here for you. Obviously, extremely, extremely beautiful. Let's go ahead and get a closer look. So starting up at the top, right away you're gonna notice the hood. That is gonna be a more contoured hood to create a better form fit around not only your shoulders and your head to create a more efficient and warmer sleeping bag. Coming on down, you do have a left side zipper sitting here. Now the way they designed this zipper so that as you get closer to the top, they actually cut it inwards to make it easier to get your extension and also easier to zip up. I'm sure you guys have dealt with before trying to twist and turn and zip that side, that side zipper up. This will make that much, much easier for you so you don't have to contour your body, make yourself uncomfortable, just to give yourself a nice warm sleep. What I also like that they did there, they put an integrated zipper guard inside there so that it's going to prevent any snags, any tears or anything on there as well so that you can zip it up in one straight motion um, and you don't have to fiddle around with the thing all night long just to make sure you stay warm in there. So I do like the fact that they put that new zipper guard on there. Um, it works really well. Uh, just a really nice smooth action on there, no snags. No, nothing. So really, really nice on their part. So what REI decided to do is do what's called their variable baffle spacing. So as I come down towards the legs, you can quite clearly see how the baffles down near your legs are much wider than the baffles up near your torso. 
This does a couple different things. This one will stabilize the down so there's no shifting or movement in the down so it gives you the best efficiency out of the sleeping bag as well as it creates spots in the sleeping bag that are going to be a little bit more efficient at keeping you warm in other areas. So down in your foot box with the wide baffles, obviously you're not, you're not creating as much body heat down near your legs up near your torso. So they really bulked it up down there to make sure that your legs and your toes stay nice and toasty warm all night long. Coming up near the torso, they created a shorter baffle system so that it can kind of regulate, regulate your body temperature a little bit better so that you don't overheat, but you stay nice and warm throughout the night. They also created a contoured trapezoidal foot box, which allows your feet to not only spread out and stay nice and comfortable, but the way it also, const the way it also wraps around your feet while it's inside the foot box there gives you the best efficiency a best efficiency to keep your toes nice and toasty warm all night long. Opening the sleeping bag up, what I like what they did here is they put a very nice soft interior nylon. So you don't have that swishing sound all night long and as well it's very nice and soft next to skin. Coming up here they did put an integrated yoke or is what people call it as well, a draft collar. This I thought was great on their part. I thought it was something that was missing from the REI Igneo sleeping bag that I have. These are spectacular. It prevents drafts and cold air from getting down into the sleeping bag and cooling you down. Once again, just increasing the overall efficiency of this great sleeping bag. And as you can see, it's very nice and insulated. It's fully puffed out there. Um, really nice on their part to make something that's nice and simple, nice and lightweight, but absolutely gets the job done. I, 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 I laid in this thing for probably about a half an hour the other day, and I opened the thing up and was gasping for air because it was so nice and warm, um, which is spectacular. As you guys know, I do do some very cold winter backpacking, so having a a little bit lower of a temperature rating combined with the uh, features to make the bag more efficient is what I was exactly looking for. Over to the side here, you do have a stiffer nylon that follows down the zipper, both on this side and also on the inside here. And that's to prevent any snags as well as create a durable line sitting right there to rub up against the zipper. They do of course have a nice zipper baffle that runs along the entire side to prevent any drafts whatsoever from coming in around the zipper line. Coming back up to the hood, they do of course have their cinch cords sitting right over the top. So when you get yourself inside, you can pull on these, cinch down the hood, to create a nice cocoon shape sitting there. Again, just keeping you nice and toasty warm and increasing the efficiency of the sleeping bag. So when you get this sleeping bag, you're gonna get two things that come with it. Obviously, number one is going to be the big storage sack for it. Now, the reason why a lot of down bags come with a large storage sack like this is to one, is to basically keep that insulation lofted which not only will give you better efficiency with the sleeping bag, but also it increases the lifespan of the product itself. Um, the worst thing that you can do is keep a down, brag, a down bag compressed for a long period of time, being the fact that it's natural materials, which means those things, the natural feathers are basically going to fuse themselves together. Uh, certainly there is a way to repair something like that, but do what you can to prevent that from happening. When not in use, keep it in the large mesh storage sack to give it the air and breathability and to keep that insulation nice and lofted for you. Secondly, of course, it will come with its own matching stuff sack. This is about a 12 liter stuff sack here, something nice and small, obviously. Now this is not a waterproof stuff sack or an ultra still stuff sack. So I will still switch this out with the ultra still stuff sack, a stuff sack that I used for my REI Igneo. So, okay guys, that is my official review on the brand new 2017 REI Magma 10 degree sleeping bag. As you can see, I'm very enthusiastic about this sleeping bag. I'm very excited. Um, just with the engineering that they put into this, I am so, so impressed. REI is really stepping up its game. They are now taking over a lot of the market in regards to some of the products that they're selling, especially because they can still get extremely high quality products but without having that without having the high price tag that comes with some other brands 
So REI, kudos to you guys. I am so happy and proud that you guys are doing so much better with the products and I am so thrilled to test this out myself and happy that I now own one. As you can see with the big smile on my face. So a couple reasons why I wanted to get this new sleeping bag. So for one, obviously I do go winter backpacking. Certainly the REI Igneo 20 degree has worked beautifully for me for the last couple years. But I wanted to decrease the temperature value a little bit of the sleeping bag while still maintaining something nice and lightweight. And this absolutely hits the nail on the head. I wanted something that was going to be standalone, warm enough for the conditions that I experience without having to bring the sleeping bag liner or some extra things just to keep me warm at night. And this thing um, with the 850 fill, with the varial baffle, the, uh, the baffle shapes that they have, the varial baffle shapes, as well as the contoured hood and the draft collar that they have inside, being able to find that warmth and also the lightweight capabilities, they absolutely hit the nail on the head with this one. I'm so excited to take this thing out for a big backpacking trip and put it through the ringer and see how it really keeps me nice and warm. Secondly as well, obviously I've talked about this before, I am set to through hike next year in 2018. And of course, I was looking for some, some nice lightweight sleeping bag options or quilt options with also a great temperature value on there, especially for the first few months that I'll be hiking and also as I start to get up into the northern states. So with this 10 degree temperature value, only a pound and 14 ounces absolutely hits it out of the park in regard to what I was looking for. So thank you guys so much for watching this review. I hope to help you guys out in any way looking for a new sleeping bag yourself. Uh, don't forget as well, this upcoming weekend, Saturday and Sunday, uh, the REI DC flagship is hosting a huge backpacking event. Uh, if you click on, I'll leave a video link uh, in the video at the end here. Uh, which gives you all further details on it. If you are able to make it, definitely stop in and say hello. If not, I hope some of my videos and everything help you out regardless. So again, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you helped this out in any way. Don't forget to subscribe down below to keep up to date with all my videos. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this review. Leave me any questions or comments below as well. Love talking to you guys. Thank you so much for all the support. I'll talk to you guys further on down the trail. Baba Ganoush out.